This is a mod that changes all the clams in Splatoon 2 into sea cucumber. And this is a mod that makes every player 10 feet tall. And these are over 25 mods that make the game almost unrecognizable. I have a friend named Andy, and Andy is known for doing some crazy things to our favorite Nintendo games. And today he's gonna show us these mods for Splatoon 2 in three phases that get progressively worse until the game breaks. So grab onto your Clash Blasters and hold on to your drink tickets because things are about to get weird. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button below before Andy finds his next target. Everything looks relatively normal right now, the desolate world of Splatoon 2, but I assure you, there's some weird stuff going on. For example, the bombs are... <sighs> do, do I even need to explain it? And it can go on... Oh, wow, and it can go on any surface, too. <laughs> How magnificent. What happens if I do a bomb rush? Wait, I, now I want to see this. Oh, God. Oh, it's awful. What have we done? Have we gone too far yet? That's not the only bomb-themed change that's been done, though. The curling bombs have been converted into red shells. Well, it, it changes depending on what your ink color is. So right now they're pink shells. Nice red shell bomb, bomb rush blush. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't even look, they just drew that on. That doesn't even look normal. Oh man. Nothing like some fresh gear in, in your Splatoon game to make you look extra fresh. Now, personally, I don't like to do online ranked games with other players when I'm using mods, but that doesn't stop us from changing some single player stuff. For example, we can replace the wooden crates in the single player mode to Mario blocks. Oh, and also you may notice that all the little power eggs have been changed over to Mario coins. They even make coin sounds when you collect them. That's pretty cool. This is awesome. We're just slowly turning this into a Mario game, which is fine with me. I'm not going to complain about that. I would love to see a mod that just completely overhauls the entire game and just fully turns it into a Mario game. Like all the Octarians get replaced with Goombas and Paratroopas. That'd be cool. Oh, and of course, the most important finishing touch, the Zapfish has been converted into Power Stars. Oh, you see, it fits perfectly. It, you wouldn't even know. It looks like it belongs here. But if the hero mode isn't your taste, don't worry. I have the most terrifying experience exciting mod for Octo Expansion that you'll ever see. Look, he's got legs. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? It's really, really weird. He's even got like detailed feet. This is all that this mod does. It just does. Somebody made this. And as if the crazy world of Splatoon modding could get even more exciting, Amiibo fart box. It's, it's Amiibo. Splatoon to me, but it says fart on that. Isn't this exciting? I'm noticing a little bit of an invasion going on. So I guess I'm supposed to <laughs> I'm supposed to grab these guys. There's a train of them following behind me. <laughs> this doesn't look stupid at all. Whoops, I grabbed one. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant one. I have never in my life seen anything like that. I don't like it. It's kind of making me uncomfortable. Okay, here I go. Time to score. <laughs> oh, oh, it's glitching. Oh, the game is does not like whatever's going on. There's like actual frame rate happening. That's just regular Splatoon 2. <laughs> oh no, it's it's getting bad. What is actually going? Oh, <laughs> it just plopped it out. That's disgusting. That's actually so gross, dude. It's getting worse the more that I score. How does that? How does that? Oh, oh there it goes. Okay, I was waiting for something to happen. Wow, it's looking pretty chilly in here. <laughs> Somebody want to turn down the AC? Okay, seriously though, this is a crazy mod. This is Freezy Expansion, which adds 15 custom levels to Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. If you've been watching this channel before, you know I'm a very big fan of custom levels in Splatoon. Like, it's my favorite thing ever. I always wondered how people do this. Like, this could legitimately be a real Octo Expansion level. Like, if you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know. Am I safe in here? Ow, not, I'm not, I am not safe in this box, okay, <laughs> good to know. Oh, that's it, that's the end of the level. Oh wow, that, that was actually not too bad, I think we could probably play one more. I'm sorry, what? Is, is this girl power station but in the Inkopolis Plaza? <laughs> Hang on a minute, what? Okay, this is, this is not like anything I've seen before. I don't know if I equipped the right weapon for this. Hang on, I want to change weapons. I, this was a bad idea. I'm going for the arrow spray, so you know I'm desperate. This actually sucks. <laughs> Hold on, this might be the most difficult thing I've ever seen. I thought Girl Power Station was tough. This is way worse. On the right, no, no, go, go, go! No! <laughs> this is impossible, dude. He's getting to, hang on. Uh-oh. Oh, they have ink armor! Right when I thought I had it, dude. I was so close. Oh my god, that's so unfair. <laughs> okay, one more try. Oh no. 
Oh my god. All right, I give up. I, I can't do this. If you want to see me try this in a future video, hit the subscribe button. Maybe I'll do it. But oh my god, this is tough. I don't know about you, but that was extremely stressful. I'm going to need a good way to detox. Let's head back to Inkopolis for phase two. You know, Splatoon 2 already has a very good selection of stores for food and clothing and shoes and weapons and all that stuff. But there is one store that I think this plaza needs that it just doesn't have. A Gucci store? Yes, as you can see, there is a Gucci store that has been built into Angopolis Square. Now, I you can't exactly go in it. Um, and maybe that's for the better. It also doesn't really fit here, but I'll tell you what does fit this drip that I put on myself. I hate to break it to you guys, but I am the best dressed in all of Ingopolis, and God, I cannot work this camera for the life of me, but trust me, it's there. I got the supreme hat, the Gucci hair, the supreme <laughs> jacket. Why did someone make this? But that's not the only drip that we have at our disposal. Uh-oh. I think the game's crashing. No, we're fine. Okay, as I was saying, now this looks like a Gucci summer camp guidance counselor outfit, but I think it looks pretty dope though. Maybe we have some different shirts that'll fit with this. Ah, the classic Gucci tee. This is so stupid. Just imagine, even for a second, if Splatoon did a collaboration with Gucci and they actually put Gucci gear in Splatoon. The game would never be the same. It would probably be a bad thing. Oh my God, it's the Gucci splatter shot. You know what? I've seen enough of this. Yeah, dude, this is what the Kenza collection wishes it could be. This is really something, huh? It's the hair. The hair being the same pattern of the hat is really throwing me off. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that the, the octopus and the squid are also Gucci patterned? Gucci branded? I don't know what's going on here, dude. But this eyesore of a Gucci store, <laughs> that rhymed, that's pretty funny, is not the only store selling merchandise nowadays. Introducing the jellyfish outfit. If you've ever wanted to wear a jellyfish, and if so, what is wrong with you? But if you have have, now is the perfect chance to get this outfit. You think he's alive? Is he like alive up there? What am I wearing as a shirt? What does it feel like? Do I sting someone if I touch them? How is it not stinging me? I have a lot of questions about this clothing. The cool thing is it does change color depending on your team color. I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily the cool thing. I don't know how interesting of a fact that is, but it does do it. Maybe headgear is your specialty. In that case, you probably like to wear bucket hats. They're everywhere nowadays. If you go to the city, you're gonna see more buckets than the plumbing section of Home Depot. Well, Splatoon has bucket hats too. And no, I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about a literal bucket hat. Come on, that's that's great. Look at it, it's great. It looks exactly like the bucket. It is, it is the same thing. If you're ever trying to cover a zone and you run out of ink, just pull it off of your head and you have another one ready to go. <laughs> it's useful and stylish. Maybe the bucket isn't your thing. Maybe it's too on the nose. Maybe you're very objective based. In which case for you rainmaker heads, you can be a rainmaker head. Come on, man, who comes up with this stuff? Definitely doesn't block my field of vision at all. No, this is very good gear. It's actually bigger than the Rainmaker itself. <laughs> yeah, this looks great, man. This looks awesome, look at me. I look like I am ready to play the objective like nobody's business. Oh God, I, for <laughs> I forgot that that happens. There are no words to describe the absolute joy that I get from having a blue Luma dance around my head while I play Splatoon. He follows me everywhere. He's just, he's just my little guy. This is awesome. Splatoon should have like a little companion, little buddy system where, where a guy floats around with you. Imagine how cute that would be. Now this might be the greatest mod that's ever been added to this game. Brace yourselves. I warned you. Sheesh. <laughs> something about something about Toad with a floating Luma and the, and the Gucci gear really ties this whole thing together. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? We're not doing that. I love this so much. There's one more piece of clothing I want to showcase, and it might be the best one. The J Moji hoodie. Somebody actually took the design from the merch that I used to sell, and they made it into merchandise you can wear in the game. That is insane to me. Look at me. Look at me and honestly say that this is not the peak of fashion. You can't. 
because it is. Now, while the aesthetic of clothes can be changed, we can't forget the weapons, such as the Galactic Nautilus 27. Pretty much every weapon's been altered here. The modern splatoscope, the banana dapple dualies. I, I mean, I could, I get that. The Galactic Dynamo. Look at the ink on that. That is insane. What is it? The Anarchy Range Blaster. This thing is awesome. If Splatoon had custom weapon customizations, I think it'd be dangerous. The Bronze Hero Splatling. Nothing is physically changed about them. Like, they're still the same weapons, but they just look cooler. The wooden splatter shot. Something about wooden weapons doesn't really make sense to me. Like, you get splinters and everything while you're shooting the ink, which would be great for fighting opponents, but it might be illegal. Whoa. Oh, it's got lights on it. What? That is so cool. I seriously cannot get over the Galactic Nautilus, though. If you could buy skins in Splatoon, especially in Splatoon 3, Nintendo would have all my money implying that they don't already, but they would have even more of it. But all this stuff is cosmetic. It looks cool, it's fun, but what if we could actually change the rules of the game for real? Oh, I've uninstalled every other mod that we had, including the Gucci store. Sorry, it had to go. Now, you may have noticed I've been using a sort of free cam to get some extra shots for this video, and that's all thanks to this mod menu, Flex Li sorry, re -Inkify. It's also known as Flex Lion, but in this case, it's called re -Inkify. So, this is a mod menu that lets you do pretty much anything, include have a free cam, and explore anywhere on the map you want to go. Maybe you want to check out this beautiful view of the city. I don't know, it's quite a sight, I guess. I don't know why, but it's so interesting to just be able to look out and see the entire map as a whole. And in case you're wondering where Joseph is, he's, he's right there. I just love that you can zoom out pretty much anywhere and see everything that there is. All the out of bounds stuff, the little details that you wouldn't normally notice, like these cars driving by. Look at this. This doesn't even look like Splatoon anymore, but this is right outside of Arowana Mall. It's been here the whole time. But this is more than just a free cam. There's so many more things you can do, like pause calc, which just kind of freezes the game. Whoops. <laughs> Forgot that I was in the process of dying. No big deal. We also have first person view, which is actually a little bit weirder than I thought it would be. Now there is a version just like this for Splatoon 3. And if you want to see me beat the entirety of Alterna in first person, hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna do it soon. I look like I'm running sweaty. <laughs> hey, Marie. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> Chroma Sky is interesting. Um, if you wanted a green screen background, you could, I mean, you can do that. You can change it to any color. Oh, and also rainbow. Okay, now that's more like it. Wow, that is very colorful. I don't think I can stare at that for longer than five minutes, but hey, it's there. Wow, it looks like we're in the void. That is really actually very unsettling. You can also have no effects on, which with the blaster is actually hilarious because it's just shooting and doing absolutely nothing. This is an awful way to play Splatoon. <laughs> I would not recommend this at all. Scene Jumper is definitely one of the cooler ones. You can pretty much teleport to anywhere at any time using this. So if I want to go to the shooting range, I can do it almost instantly, but there's so much more that we can do. Oh, that's so weird. It could just teleport you there. The Nil statue? What is going on? What? It just teleported me to the end of Octo Expansion. Wait, what? You could just go to the end of Octo Expansion. Okay, uh, take me to DJ Octavio. That's where I want to go now. This is so funny. You can just warp straight to the end of the hero mode. <laughs> this is so good. Since we're here, what else can I do? I can change my ink color, which is always fun. Wow, I can fight Octavio with black and white ink. We could also have rainbow ink, I just learned. Oh my god, that's even better. <laughs> Rainbow Ink! This is a very uh, visually stimulating boss fight. Oh great, now we're both red. Oh, that's not, that really doesn't help at all, honestly. Hey, hang on, I don't wanna be here anymore, so I'm gonna use the scene jumper. Take me back to, um, take me back to co-op. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that's gonna do, but this just cue me into a game? Where am I? Did it just cue me into a solo game of Salmon Run? Uh-oh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Wow, I didn't last long. I can't imagine why. This is so weird. Can I can I scene jump out of here? Take me to versus. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> what's going on? What's going on, dude? Who are these? Who are these people? Oh, they're bots! And they're actually playing! Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> these are these aren't even real. These are not real people. This is the game. The game is it created players. Why is this a thing? Look at they're using their specials and they're bubble blowing at each other. Oh, <laughs> booyah, dude. What else can we do? We can remove weapons. Um, okay. I'm, I'm just kind of standing. <laughs> I actually can't use my weapon. That's so funny. I can change the skybox to the sunset. That 
isn't really the sunset. It looks like pink leopard print, but okay, I'm with you. It's all purple, I don't know why. Whoa, okay. This might not be correct. What am I inside of? What is that? <laughs> what did I just do? Oh, you can have the Agent 3 cape. That's fun. I'm rocking that. Oh, there's also player size. This one's one of my favorite. You can change the size of the player and walk around as a giant inkling. Can I do it to all players? Wait a minute. Oh, everybody's giant. Oh, this was a bad idea. This is not a good idea, dude. <laughs> this is dangerous. Oh, there's also a funky weapon, which just does that. It just makes it so the weapon is spinning and you can make it really fast. Well, despite the fact that this is the most broken game of Splatoon I have ever seen, somehow, we can break the game even more. Oh, look at us, we won! <laughs> welcome to Final Fest, or should I say, welcome back to Final Fest. Again. Forever. Yeah, this is a mod that just makes it so that it's Final Fest literally indefinitely. It never stops. It goes on forever. I forgot how hectic the lobby was when we had this Splatfest going on. It was absolutely insane. They went over the top with these decorations. Oh, little detail, by the way, you may have noticed it already, but all the text has been changed to the Inkling language? Uh, alphabet? I don't really know what this is. So in case you want to go into your settings and mess with the sensitivity of your... You can do that now. <laughs> what if you could use your special weapon as your regular weapon? I mean, that's pretty much what we're gonna find out right now. Thanks to the power of modding, we can play an offline Clam Blitz Splatfest game. That's not something I necessarily wanted to do, but it's something that we are doing right now. So as you can see, it does look like a Stingray, but it, it just shoots like a regular splatter shot. There's nothing really crazy going on here. It's cool though. Hey, hey, leave him alone. Oh, it's a battle of the rollers. <laughs> Why doesn't Splatoon have an offline mode like this with bots? I think that'd be so cool. But if the Stingray isn't your taste, you can also wield an inkjet gun. Like, just the gun. This one apparently is based off of a blaster, um, which kind of makes sense. It's kind of like the inkjet gun. Again, as cool as these are, they're really just weapon reskins. They don't fundamentally change the way the weapon works. If that's something you want, I do have something for you. If you're a Splattershot fan, but one Splattershot is just not enough, don't worry. Dually Splattershots. This is a thing now. Does this actually work? Oh my God, it did. It spawned, it spawned 10 players on the map. There's five of us on each team. <laughs> this is awesome. Anyways, check out the dually splatter shot. These actually work. Like they legitimately work like duallys, but they shoot like a splatter shot. Oh yeah, this is, this is how, this is how I like to experience Splatoon, baby. Oh, by the way, I've also got, um, Minecraft TNT bombs. Just thought I should throw that out there. This is definitely one of the most interesting games of Splatoon I have I have ever witnessed. Hang on, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh my god! <laughs> what is that? What did I just witness with my eyes? There we go. Now it's looking good. Now this look this looks like good Splatoon gameplay right here. I don't even know what team everyone's on. Are you on my team? Okay, no, you're not. <laughs> Guess I had to find that out the hard way. I really love the Minecraft TNT block. It's- <laughs> and it actually explodes. That's so good. Oh, even better if you change the ink color to red. It literally is just a Minecraft TNT block. <laughs> Why does Minecraft make its way into so many Nintendo games with these mods? I don't understand. Whoa, ink flakes. That is so- oh, it's like bright. It looks like lava. What? That is so cool. Oh my god, it looks like there's a tornado happening outside. This is just natural disaster of the game. There is one final mod that I installed that could be the most dangerous, the most daring, the most horrifying mod you have ever seen in this game. There he is. Sea cucumber. No, actually, I, I don't know why I installed this, but here it is. Oh, I don't like that he- oh, I don't like that he does that. Oh, gross. Anyways, moving on. Oh, come on. You know what? To be fair, I deserve that one.